last week and we're going to talk about uh, comparing DICOM headers or DICOM files uh, in particular for of images you can of course compare other files as well but in this application we're looking at comparing two different images and the objective is to compare but changes have been made for example after a software release which potentially could impact your behavior um, of the image display and the pack system so we're going to talk about how to install and configure the DICOM compare tool and uh, how to use it and, and analyzing the results and how to set up the filter parameters that allow you to filter out some of the attributes that you do not want to be compared and also going to talk about some additional resources. Now let's talk about how to use the tool. Let's say there is a modality such as a computerized radiography system right here and the modality sends images to the packs, everything is happy, everybody's happy, everything goes great, but then uh, you come in uh, as a PAX administrator in the morning and find out that suddenly the images are displayed incorrectly at the PAX system and you might want to find out um, what has changed in the image that potentially could cause this problem to occur because in many cases there's some finger pointing going on between the vendor of the CR that said we didn't change anything and of course the PAX people said well we changed uh, something must have changed because of behavior uh, is different so you might want to take control of the situation and find uh, that image, an image from before the change, uh, put it on a CD, download it in your laptop computer where you have the compare utility running, and then take also an image from after the change from the packs on the CD and impact it in your computer. Of course, you can also do a direct connect if you have that available, but most of the times uh, just burning a CD is, is probably the easiest way. Then we're going to install uh, DVTK, which is the compare program, at your analysis laptop or computer, and then we're going to run the compare. Now, how would the, uh, 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 the download page look like where we can find the information? We need to go to dvtk.org, and then if you select the download page, you see a whole bunch of programs, of tools, that we can use for data analysis of DICOM applications, uh, validation, and in this case, we're going to use DICOM compare DICOM compare so after we install DICOM compare we'll see the following screen uh, coming up you can see the user interface is relatively simple there's just a file compare with it uh, and in this case we're going to do without filter first and it basically allows you to pick uh, the file from before and after the change but this is what we're going to do next one of the things I have to warn you for is that this utility expects a DCM extension, .dcm on the file, um, which is by default selected. So if you're not aware of that, you might think, okay, oh, I don't have any files. Um, that is not typically how the DICOM images are stored or archived, particularly not on the CD. So you might want to pick all files and there we see the images show up. So we pick the first file, right, the CT1001. And we do open, and then we check the second one, which is the updated file for after the change. And basically, after both files are selected, there will be some processing taking place, and there we see the results. So the results is actually um, uh, shown if there's any differences in the red. So, for example, obviously the uh, meta file header, the group 2, has been some changes there because we. Uh, uh, ch uh, wrote the uh, image twice, but then if you go down the attributes uh, and you see, for example, here that the initial station ID was, right here, ID station, changed in CT emergency outpatient. Now you see, for example, that this is a significant change because this type of this attribute is s -H, which uh, if you look in the DICOM standard, uh, uh, this particular type can only have 16 characters, so definitely this is a validation of the, um, uh, of the value, of the length value in this attribute, and potentially could cause some, some issues. Uh, 
and that might actually be the uh, source of your problem. And then if you go down, for example, uh, the version of the software has been changed in the header C001 to 002, and of course there are some changes in the uh, study instance UID, signature instance UID, because these are different images. So you see that you can all the changes that came up and were made in the image header. Now, let's talk a little bit about the filter mechanism. There is a tab called Comparison Filter. And the Comparison Filter allows you to add any attributes that you want, that you said, I want this not to be considered when I do the compare. And, uh, for example, I can say I want 0010 and one. Uh, which is actually the patient name to be added to this list so from now on uh, the patient name will not be uh, uh, added as well so actually by accident I added twice so basically I can also remove a attribute again so now if I do the file compare again this will not be um, uh, uh, used with the comparison so when I do compare I can say now do a compare with filter and now I can do exactly the same thing again so as you can see, uh, it is a useful tool to be used for uh, for various reasons. In particular, when changes that have been made to software releases or files, and you want to find out what exactly are the changes that potentially could uh, cause some of the problems that I am seeing in the screen now. So last but not least, let me talk a little bit about some of the uh, resources that uh, that you might want to uh, look for. Uh, and uh, the, these are DICOM books that are provided by OTEC, uh, or face-to-face -face classes, of course. We have online training and computer-based training as well, as well as certification. So we're always looking forward for people to learn more and hopefully to see you in one of our classes or, or get one of our books or study guides. Thank you for your attention and uh, see you next presentation. Enjoy.